Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of Life and Times, Zero Fats dot adventures on the river dot com. That is my blog where I talk about all different kinds of ways to make money. Also, there's links to my products there on my blog. Review contingencies is there, affiliate command is there, adventures on the river dot com is there. I have some more products in the pipeline that are there. Easy YouTube money method is there for free. Um Simple systems that automate is there for free. Um, I got products there for free as well as products that that cost money. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be building a uh, like a product page I think where you can just look through products. But on top of that, man, it's really just a blog where I talk about things and try to help you for free. Okay, so cool. Um, let's talk about what this series is called. Welcome to the first episode of Web Riders. I like that name personally. Um, this is my YouTube series about internet marketing. I want to talk about internet marketing, all the affiliate command st type stuff, affiliate marketing, internet marketing, email marketing, uh, just in general, uh, marketing online, making money online uh, using the internet, um, you know, list building, uh, just different stuff like that. That's what Web Writers is all about. Welcome to the first episode. I have this series scheduled for eight episodes, okay? I'm going to come out with one episode a week. Let me know how you like it, okay? Hit me up in the comment section and we'll go for season two after eight episodes if everybody likes what's going on here. So let me get into what I want to talk about today with Web Writers. Uh, first season here, first episode, and I want to talk to you guys about a million ways to make a million dollars. Okay. Now, first off, I haven't made a million dollars yet on the internet, okay? But I do make a full-time income and I support a family of four on the internet. So, I do know a thing or two about it. Um The reason I say a million ways to make a million dollars is simply because that's exactly what it is. Uh, I've made money in lots of different ways on the internet and I know that there's a lot of ways to make money on the internet. And I've also talked to tons of people who have made money on the internet in a ton of different ways. Okay? I want to kind of focus on something though, because there's a few ways, there's a lot of ways to make money on the internet, but I kind of want to focus on affiliate marketing today. And I want to talk to you guys about affiliate marketing because, you know, after I released Affiliate Command, I started getting a lot of people asking me about affiliate marketing. They saw that title, Affiliate Command, and they thought, dude, this course is going to teach me how to, like, you know, make, like, a million dollars in 30 days with affiliate marketing, you know. And it's, you know, the people who actually got affiliate command, they were in for a surprise because it didn't teach them what they thought it was going to teach them. It did teach them how to be really strong affiliate marketers, but it didn't teach them what they thought it was going to teach them. They thought it was going to teach them a bunch of ways to spam like Facebook with affiliate links, spam forums with affiliate links, spam email boxes with affiliate links, and you know they thought it was going to teach them how to like spam a bunch of people with a bunch of crap. And that's not what Affiliate Command was about, man. Affiliate Command was about authority building. Affiliate Command was about getting into this position of leverage and power to where like affiliates were coming to you to promote your products. Right, and that's what affiliate command is about, man. Affiliate command is about building a following around you to where when you do affiliate with your product, you got a ton of people who are gonna listen to you already, right? And that's what affiliate command is about. It's about a long sustainable business. Right? So, you know, I, I just I think it's interesting, man, because so many people, um, I'll see them trying to do affiliate marketing, you know, I'll see them like in Facebook, because I hang out in those Facebook groups, you know, and I'll try to help people in the Facebook groups, and I'll try to help people on YouTube, um, but I see like, especially on YouTube and Facebook groups, now YouTube, like, there's a spam filter, and you would not believe how many times I had to clean out my spam box, because people just, you know, they're always trying to promote affiliate products, they're always trying to promote other people's stuff on my channel, and it just gets spam spam filtered I mean I don't know do you realize it's a waste of time I mean that, that's a waste of time to do that you know you're gonna get you're, you're getting caught by my spam filter man and not only that when people see your affiliate links on a YouTube channel like that nobody respects that man everybody sees you as a spammer they're not gonna click on your links you know you might get a few trickle in sales from that but you're not gonna make a full-time living like that 
The same with Facebook, man. I see people using these auto posters on Facebook, and like, the same post will come up every two hours from this person. That's annoying, man. That doesn't make people want to buy things off of you. Now, you might get a few trickling sales from that, but for the most part, it's not sustainable. People aren't going to, you know, respond to that very well. There's a good chance you're just going to get taken off of their friends list, you know. Just auto-posting stuff. Every two hours, the same message. Bam, blam, blam, blam. It's, it's annoying, man. But I tell people, like, I didn't have any, this is me personally, I didn't have any luck on the internet making real money, sustainable money that I can count on every single month until I started, number one, trying to help people for free, just trying to reach out to people and help them, okay? And number two, started trying to build and develop trust and authority with people, okay? I started trying to build trust and authority. And, you know, incidentally, reaching out to people and helping them and building trust and authority goes hand in hand. If you're reaching out and helping people for free, you're building trust and authority, all right? And they go hand in hand with each other. Now, let me tell you something. Learning and becoming a student of trust and authority and figuring out how ways that I could build that, I became very sensitive to ways that I can diminish that, okay? And one, one of the big ways to diminish trust and authority is just spamming people. Like auto-posting on Facebook, just spamming, spamming the shit out of people on Facebook, right? That diminishes your trust and authority. You just look like some sleazy internet marketer that's trying to make some dollars, you know? And you might make a few dollars, but it's not worth it, really, in the long run, because you're diminishing your trust and authority. So, it's not worth it. That, that immediate payoff's not worth what you're losing by doing it, right? You seem common, you seem trite, you seem very run-of-the-mill and you blend right into everyone else that's doing the same thing. So anyways, that's my two cents on it for affiliate marketing. Um, we're gonna get into uh, web writers a lot more hot and heavy uh, in future episodes. I'll be back next week with some more cool stuff on web writers. Uh, but for this week, I just want to make the point that uh, you know, if you want to do affiliate marketing, first and foremost, you should concentrate on building your trust and authority, okay? Concentrate on building a following around you, whether it be through a Facebook page, whether it be through a blog, whether it be through a YouTube channel, whether it be through a Pinterest account. Concentrate on building your trust and authority and pulling people around you. This is how to do successful affiliate marketing, okay? I promise you, it works and it, nothing else worked for me until I did this. Not consistently, not consistently. Okay. So anyways, that's it for this first episode of Web Writers. I got a lot of stuff planned for this series. We're going to do some whiteboard stuff. We're going to do some teaching. But that's it for now, man. I will see you guys next week. If you like this video, please like, please share, please subscribe. And the reason I'm cutting it a little bit short is because my battery's getting ready to die. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. Peace.